If you look here, you will see that all this we used to count when we are counting time is represented here on the analog clock. What do I mean? When we are in primary school, we used to count that 60 seconds makes one minute, 60 minutes makes one hour, 24 hours makes a day and others. But in this clock, I have all those times represented here. What do I mean? When you look around my clock, we see that there are lines. And these short lines are my seconds. The fastest hand on this clock counts the seconds. And once it counts up to 60, the minute hand moves. How does my minute hand move? The minute hand will move from here to here. Just from one tick to another. When the second hand counts around my clock in a 360 degrees movement. After that, the minute hand moves small from this to this. So this means that the things you see here are seconds and they are also minutes. So when they reach here, when the minute hand is at one, it means five minutes. When it's at two, it means 10 minutes. When it's at three, it means 15 minutes. So when you want to use the numbers as you see here to count, it means that you are counting in fives. So this means that when the minute hand is here, it means five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. When it reaches 60 minutes, the hour hand moves. Please subscribe to our channel. How does my hour hand move? The numbers you see here are called hours. Let's try something practical here. This is time, and this is 12 o'clock. We say that 60 minutes is equal to one hour. Let's try it and know whether 60 minutes can give us one hour. So this is down 12, and one hour plus 12 is one o'clock. Okay, let's try. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. What do you see? One o'clock. So this means that you saying that 60 minutes is equal to one hour is correct. I want to use this paper and pen method to illustrate you how to calculate time so that you have a better understanding of it. When you want to count time on an analog clock, you have to note these four signs in the clock. Let's start from the first sign here. When you see this sign, you have to note that a clock is a circle and it has a 360 degree angle. A clock now has a circle when you divide it into two, you have the halves. This is half, this is half. From the half now, recall that any hand that reaches 12 changes the time. So 12 is our focus. So this means that any hand that rotates 360 and reach 12 will change other hands and other hands will change the time. This is 12. When the seconds moves and reach 12, the minute hand moves. When the minute hand rotates and reach 12, the hour hand moves. So from this clock now, we have that any hand that the minute hand when it's after the 12, it means we call it after when we are counting time. We call it after because it's after 12. So when it's after 12, you count the seconds or the minutes as you see in the calibrations on the clock. Or when it's somewhere here, you say that this is five minutes after nine. When it's here, you say it's 10 minutes after 9. When it's in between here, you count this is 5. The next calibration you see is 7, 8. When it's at 8, you say 8 minutes after 9. So this is how you count time. The next one is my clock here says 10 minutes to 4. So from the second half of a circle, you have that if here is after, here is 2. Because 2 means it's going to 12, 2, 12, 2, 12. So this is why here is called 2. And here is called after. Remember that when you want to count time, you count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. When you want to count after, when you are counting after, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. But... 
the start here that's why i indicated this with a line when you reach 30 you begin to count 25 20 15 5 sorry 10 and 5 so from here you do count down from here you begin to count from here you count down i hope you understand what i mean so from this my time here when the minute time is here you say 25 minutes to when it's here you say 20 minutes to here is 15 minutes to here is 10 minutes to and here is 5 minutes to likewise the calibrations you see here place your comments tell me how do you count your own time just tell me how you count your own the next clock i have here is divided into four when you divide a circle into two you have halves half of a circle half of a circle but when you divide into four you have half and half of your half is quarter so one out of four of the division of a clock is your quarter what do i mean when the hands the minutes and fall somewhere here you say quarter after So from my clock here, I have that. When the minute hand is at a straight line between 3 and 9, when it's pointing towards 9, it means quarter to. But when it's pointing at 3, it means quarter after. So from the time here, what says the time here is quarter after 5. Because here is the after and here is 2. So... When it's pointing at 3, it means it's after the 12, which means this is quarter after 5. 5 was, before was 5 o'clock, when the minute time is at 12. So it has, it has passed 12 and it's now at 3. And the 3 here, we call it 15, when we are counting the minute hand. So, the time here says, either you say 15 minutes after or quarter after 5. So, the next one. In my clock here, I have the 2. This is going to 12. So, the time here says quarter to quarter. Quarter to 6. 6, when it reaches 12, it becomes 6. So, when it's here, you call the number that is going to. I don't know how to explain this very well now. But, I want you to understand that when you say to, it means to what the number that will be that will be the next o'clock like that will be the next the next time like the next zero zero when counting digit time so when it's two it means the number that is going to appear when it becomes o'clock so this is quarter to six so the next clock i want you to learn how to calculate will be the digital clock but that will be on our next video so I hope you learned something new from this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget to share our video. Share with your friends. Share with a friend you know is finding it hard to learn how to calculate time. And please drop your comments when you have any confusion on any of my explanation. See you on our next video. Please subscribe to our channel.